time is finally here, let's learn how to build an AI voice assistant using NAN. No, you don't need to know how to code. Make sure you watch until the very end because I'm also sharing a huge mistake I made that has wasted me at least 10 hours of time. Okay, let's get started. For this workflow, we will use Telegram as a trigger to receive either text input or audio input. Let's first click on the plus sign, find Telegram, Select on message. Now you have to set up your Telegram credentials and input an access token here. If you need any help, you can click on open doc and NAN gives you exactly the steps to create a Telegram bot. You can also check out my videos here to find out how to set up a Telegram bot easily. So in my case, I have created a voice assistant bot in my Telegram. Note that we want to be flexible about our input, either text or audio. So here we'll need a switch node. Click on plus sign and find switch. So now we have a telegram trigger. Now let's click on this play button. So telegram trigger is listening. Let's just give a text message first. Hello, how are you? Now we double click on right hand side output, we can see, hello, how are you, right? It means it's successful. Now let's text an audio message. Again, we need to click on play button and hi, how are you? Now this is a one second audio file. Let's double check. Okay, now this time you see the output, it's a voice node. Now let's try the schema view, okay, under voice. We got a file ID, so we know that the audio file has been captured by Telegram. Perfect. Now we're ready to move on to the second node. We will need a switch node. Okay, and then double click. So I have seen tons of tutorial videos sharing different methods of how to do this, but I think the most convenient way is this. We need two rules, one for text input and second for the audio input. And here, Let's find under voice and here is a field ID. Let's drag this one to value one and change this to string exist. Okay, this condition just means there's a voice node existing in this pathway. And the second one is similarly, we drag file ID again string does not exist. Okay, so these are two conditions. One the audio message exists. And second, the audio message does not exist. And let's save here. Now let's tackle the pathway where the audio file does exist. Now here, our next step is very counterintuitively, we do not just go to transcribe the audio files to text directly. We have to use the telegram node get a file function. This is something I missed in the first time and I got super confused because we cannot directly drag the node from Telegram voice. We get Telegram and find under file actions, get a file. And before that, let's execute the switch node. Okay. So the very last message I tested is an audio note. Output under zero means the audio file exists correctly. Perfect. And here we go back to get a file. Now we find file ID under voice here under uh, the switch node and drag it over under file ID and make sure download is switched on and that's execute step. Perfect. It's downloaded. And then we're ready to do transcribing. Here I'm just going to use open AI then find transcribe a recording. Now under input data field name, we can just keep data here and then let's click on execute step. Okay, perfect. Hi, how are you? That's exactly what I said. Now, the next step here, we do need to send our text to an AI agent, but before that, we do need a merge node so that we don't confuse the AI agent, which input is the correct one. Okay, let's do a merge node. Let's find merge. Okay, we don't need to do anything here. There's input one and input two. Let's just drag this node to input two. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? And now we have the two messages input merged. Okay, after this, we're ready to deploy our AI agent node. So click on plus again. 
and find AI, AI agent. And then under chat model, I'm going to use OpenAI, GPT 4.1 mini. Now tool here, depending on your specific need, there are lots of options, but for a voice research assistant or, or anything you need, credible recent sources, I think adding the perplexity tool is a huge plus. So let's do perplexity. Once again, you need to set up your perplexity API key. I'm going to choose the sonar model. Messages here, I'm just going to click the stars sign to let the AI agent decide automatically. Great. Now let's go back to the AI agent. Okay, let's first execute the merge node. And I should like to pin the node here so we don't have to run testing from the very first step every time we add a node. Now here under source for prompt, click on define below and choose expression. Our main message will be under merge and text. We want this assistant to be smart, concise, and provide very insightful info. So I have designed this comprehensive prompt and I said, you are an AI voice assistant. Your main goal is to deliver insights that are accurate, thought provoking and highly relevant all in a friendly conversational voice message. And here I find it really, really important emphasize user request. Okay. So if you have a comprehensive prompt and you don't have an emphasized user input, sometimes I find the AI agent to completely ignore your input and just generate something random. So it's really important to highlight user input upfront. Now under guiding principles, a few things are really liked. One is find the most impactful and counterintuitive findings first. And second, identify the 20% of information that provides 80% of the value or understanding. And I also emphasize that you must use perplexity AI tool whenever the user asks for information or needs a factual answer. So that way I can go back to check the sources that perplexity AI generated. Please leave a comment under the video if you want a copy of this prompt. Now let's unpin the message so we can finally send something a little bit more complex than just how are you to the AI agent. So don't forget to save your workflow very often. Now let's click on the play button and let's try a voice node. Hi, can you find me information on the differences between OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini, please? All right, a nine second input. I just recorded, successful. Okay, let's check out the transcribing. Hi, can you find me information on the differences between OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini? Perfect. All right. Remember this comprehensive prompt we prepared. Let's execute this step to see whether it's working. Okay. Let's see. It's generated an output. It looks pretty nice. Let's click on perplexity, see the citation. Ooh, it includes articles and YouTube videos. Great. Now next, normally if we send an audio input, we want an audio response from the AI agent. Based on that rule, we will need another switch node. Now here's a fair warning here. You might think, hey, we can just copy and paste the original switch node and put it here. But no, because we have used the merge node here, we cannot just directly copy and paste switch node because the variable names have changed in a JSON structure. So. It's not complicated. We just need to do this one more time. Let's go back to the original telegram trigger, find on voice field ID and drag to value one, change equals two to strings exists. And second one, similarly voice field ID here, string does not exist. Let's execute. Now path one, which is represented by zero here, meaning the input is audio and we wanted to transcribe the AI agent output text into audio. So a text to speech model here, I'm going to use OpenAI again and select generate audio under audio actions under text input. Let's drag over output here and here voice. You can choose anyone you like. Okay, let's execute. 
Now this should generate an audio file based on the AI agent textual output. Okay, perfect, data generated. Next, we just need to send the audio back to the Telegram chat. So add another Telegram node and let's like send an audio file. And under chat ID, let's go back to the Telegram trigger node. Under chat, there's an ID. Let's drag chat ID here. Importantly, let's click on binary file because it's an audio file and automatically you see data showing up under input binary field and just leave everything as it is. And let's click on execute step. Let's check it out in Telegram. All right, we got this audio.mp3 file here. Let's double click. Hey, here's the scoop on how OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini differ. And the most surprising bit is how their strengths reflect fundamentally different design philosophies. Okay, it's pretty awesome, right? We're almost done with this really smart AI voice assistant for you. The last step is if our input is pure text, then we just want the response to be also in pure text. We add the last telegram node and select send a text message for chat ID, similarly, under Telegram Trigger. Now, uh, if it's the first time you're setting up, under Telegram Trigger, you don't see anything. That's because in our current testing mode, we only have an audio message set up. So let's do another round of text. Can you help me find house-benefit differences between drinking tea and coffee? And let's test it again. Now we're ready to add the last telegram chat. Send a text message. Then here in the last telegram note, we select under telegram trigger again, drag over to chat ID here. Now here's a really important thing. After we have created two branches after the switch node, we'll have to do a modification in the AI agent prompt. So in the open it, originally when we drag over the text message under merge, it's json.txt. But after we have created two branches after switch, all the structure of JSON changed. This is where I reveal the biggest mistake I made in this workflow. We need to go back to the AI agent. So the correct way is this one. So is either json.txt, which captures the audio input, or json.message.txt, which captures the pure text input. And we use two vertical lines here to indicate or. This way, it will dynamically capture the user input, whether it's an audio input or text input. Now, this is hugely important. And you have to click on save. And otherwise, when you enter a text input, it will just generate something random which is why um, you see here when I didn't update the AI prompt input variable, when I was expecting tea and coffee differences is giving me something random about a climbing change. Let's try the prompt again. And can you help me understand health benefit differences between drinking tea and coffee? Let's enter, now it's working. Now since I've entered a text input, it should return a text response back into the Telegram chat window. Now this time, hopefully, it's about coffee and tea. Okay, cool. It says here's an interesting insight about drinking tea versus coffee. All right, successful. Now finally, let's activate this workflow by click on this button here. This is a slightly longer workflow for beginners to try. But it can be super useful since we are able to send messages in Telegram and on our mobile phone wherever we go. And we can listen to the audio messages while walking in a park or while we're driving. I also recommend you try out this NAN calendar workflow here. This one is much simpler but equally powerful. And don't forget to leave comments down below. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's tutorial. See you next time.